Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've got a bunch of really exciting news to talk about. First and foremost though, I want to address the new paleontological advisor that has just been announced for Jurassic World 3. <laughs> So just yesterday, Colin Trevorrow announced via Twitter that Steve Brissotti would be coming on to the production of the next Jurassic Park sequel as the filmmaker's dedicated dinosaur advisor. For those of you who don't know, Steve Brissotti is both an American paleontologist and an evolutionary biologist. He's made a name for himself within the paleontological community through the publication of several books, as well as the discovery of quite a few unique and interesting species of animal. Some of these discoveries include a new Asian tyrannosaur with the nickname of the Pinocchio Rex, as well as a new species of Carcharodontosaurus in Africa. Now, Colin Trevorrow actually cited one particular book that Brusati had written during his announcement, and that book would be the 2018 nonfiction work called The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs, A New History of a Lost World. Ironically, this is a book that I've actually seen locally at a Barnes & Noble where I live, but I'd yet to pick it up and read it up until now. Anyways, with the announcement of Steve Brissotti coming on board of Jurassic World 3, I think it's important to look back at some of the earliest pieces of plot information that we ever got about the film in order to contextualize everything in a cohesive manner. So, way back when Jurassic World was first announced as the starting point in a new Jurassic Park trilogy, Colin Trevorrow gave a few inklings of where the story and dinosaurs could go over the course of these next few installments. One thing that has constantly come up over these last few years is the idea of Dr. Henry Wu and InGen not being the only ones capable of cloning dinosaurs. Now that the dinosaurs have gotten out and their DNA has subsequently been shotgunned out all over the earth, new animals and new variations on animals will surely follow suit. In the original movie, we were aware of a rival genetics company that had hired Dennis Nedry in order to smuggle some of these dinosaur embryos off of the island. But after that initial film, we never really got any sort of information on them ever again. Now in the books, this is very, very different. Biosyn, the company that Dodson works for, is notorious for having an intense rivalry with John Hammond's outfit. They played a massive role in Michael Crichton's novel sequel, The Lost World, and have also recently been folded back into play via the new DLC for Jurassic World Evolution. Essentially, what I'm trying to say here is that we finally seem to be getting this portion of the Jurassic story that was kind of all but forgotten in most of the sequels that came out earlier. Whether or not it will be revealed as Biosyn, I personally have no idea, but the very idea of a rival company recreating the dinosaurs sounds very promising to me. With all of that being said, I think this might be why Steve Brissotti has been brought on board for the new movie. With the history of dinosaurs and dinosaur designs being created through the technique and artistry of one company, and really one man in Dr. Henry Wu, we will now be getting a brand new spin on what dinosaurs can look like had their blueprints not been cemented in the technology and thinking of 1993. This doesn't mean that all of the old dinosaurs will be updated with feathers like T-Rex, Velociraptor, etc. In fact, Colin Trevorrow made a point of saying that all of the old engine dinosaurs will still be in the new movie. But it's still very possible and really very likely that Engine will be getting its breakthrough work thrown back in its face once more accurate and more distinctly realistic dinosaurs will be replicated while the company is down, which could lead to comparing and contrasting of the old company's work to whoever comes in in the new film which would technically be a very big event in the Jurassic Park universe, and one that I think could make for a lot of interesting drama. But until we get some more information on what the story and dino designs will be like in the new film, we're just going to have to sit back and wait and see. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you've all continued to support me the way you do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next one, guys, and as always, take it easy.